what we do has nothing to do with regular hunting. It's not about recreation or a nature experience. We use all necessary means to exterminate these animals that create enormous damage in a nature where they do not belong. Ten years ago, we took more than 100 raccoon dogs that were born in Sweden. Today we take 10, 15, 20 raccoon dogs alongside the bordering river to Finland. If we don't hunt these species now, nothing will happen in a short while or maybe for quite some years. But when things start to happen, for example with the uh, raccoon dogs, the ground nesting birds in archipelagos and, and uh, our amphibian fauna, they will go down really hard. And when these things start to happen, then the population has reached too high numbers to be able to do something. The window of opportunity is now when the population is new and small in numbers. To catch these animals we have many, many different methods and tools, and all from service dogs and to radio controlled traps and uh, cameras that sends pictures to the professional hunters' cell phones in real time and so on. When we caught the raccoon dog 10 years ago, we killed them. Today, there are so few, so every individual is valuable for us. So we take it in, we sterilize it, put a radio collar on it and release it out in another area so it can work for us as a Judas animal. A Judas animal is in this case with a raccoon dog, is that the raccoon dog has one mission in his life. And it's to find a partner and live in a lifelong partnership. When the Judas animal finds a new partner, we go in and catch the partner, and that one will also work for us as Judas animal. 10 years from now, I think that most of our target species will be down to zero population because the methods we have built are so effective. So I, I think that we will be working quite a lot with the American mink it's a problem all over Sweden. By killing these animals, we protect our precious nature. It's the very essence of conscious hunting.